So let's talk about the new mic that I'm taking a look at today. It is the Fiducy SL160. This is a USB mic, and of course it has RGB. And we're gonna take a look at this mic and listen and see if it was worth the $40 that I paid for. Yes, I bought this mic with my own money, so I'll give a fair review of what I personally think is a pros and cons to this mic. Uh, but if this is your first time stopping in to Coffee Talk and Tech, I wanna thank you. We talk about ways to improve your audio and your video for live streaming and YouTube. So let's get into it. So quickly, let's roll into this mic and see what comes into the box. See what we get for our money. Right on top, I can see we got a little documentation pamphlet. This is the pop screen that comes with it. Here is the mic itself. So slide that out. Okay. And as we're looking at this mic, we could see that the you have a volume control knob there and a headphone knob and this is a tap to mute button on top and we see an older style like usb printer type usb cable and then it has a headphone jack in the back this feels like it's fully aluminum as far as the mic is and then we have a little tripod holder kind of type of thing where the mic gets held in and then we have our USB cable. And then what's cool is they do send you a USB-C adapter cable. This is what this mic sounds like. It took me about 30 seconds to put it on its stand and plug it into a USB port and it's up and running. Um, there is that little mute button on top that if you touch the RGB light goes out so it lets you know that you don't have any more sound going through it. So it looks like this. That nothing was coming through when the light was off. Um, and then I plugged in my ear sets uh, right into my headsets, right into the back right here, which is a 3.5 millimeter plug in the back of the mic. Um, I feel like it sounds pretty good, but you're getting that cardioid polar pattern. So everything is coming from the front and where the knobs and where it says Fiducy on the front of the mic is where you want to speak into. And you have the little pop filter that comes off about an inch and we'll see how well that does in a little bit. But I noticed like right off the bat, um, it sounds great with the real-time headphone monitoring monitoring so when i speak i can hear myself in the headphones immediately with no delay uh, coming from my pc you may have it a little different or if you have a slower pc but what i'm using i have no delay whatsoever that i can notice and when i get up close on the proximity effect about four inches away from this mic i mean this is where it sounds really good um, at least it does in my ears. Let me know in the comments what you think, um, how this mic sounds. And as I back off, I'm more about 10 inches away when I'm about like this. And this is what the mic sounds like. You can't control the RGB. You turn it on or you turn it off. And the way you do that is by a long hold on that top button where the mute is. So I will long hold it and then the light goes off and I am not, you know, muted because it was a long hold. It's only a short tap for the mute. So I'm going to long hold it again and bring back the RGB and then it just goes through the colors um, and that's the way it operates. So there we go. We have the RGB lighting on again and this pop filter um, is made out of plastic, but let's see how well it holds up. Put your personal property in the proper place. Put your personal property in the proper place. I would say overall, when it comes to the plosives, that little plastic pop filter does a decent job. So I won't fault it for that. It does, it does what it's supposed to. And if you're off this mic a bit, it's not too bad. It is sensitive because listen, you're dealing with a condenser mic. So it is sensitive with the sounds around it. Uh, but if you have a pretty good controlled area where your studio is or where you're gaming, um, I think you'll do fine. Let's do a little proximity 
um, off access and see how it sounds. Now it's on the box to lift it up a little bit. Um, you can kind of like see that in this picture right here. And this is um, what I have it on just to get it a little bit closer to me as I speak. Uh, so you guys can hear me better. But if you want me to, I mean, just to have an idea on the desk, it would be, but right now this is what it would sound like if I just had it like sitting on the desk and I was here talking, you can see it right down in front. Now it does angle up and you can see that. So I can adjust the angle as far as forward and back like this. And so you'll angle it up towards your mouth a little bit and that's what it looks like and how it sounds. So as I run it off access, let's check it out and see how it sounds. If I turn it all the way to the side, this is what it sounds like. If I'm speaking towards the back of the mic, you can hear this is what it sounds like. And then from the other side of the mic, sorry about the, the sounds, but as we go from the last side back to the front, this is what it sounds like. Now I'll put it back onto the box so you can hear me a little better and what it sounds like. And so now I'm back at about 10 inches away from this mic and this is what it sounds like. But I'm gonna back off so I can give you a little bit better of what it sounds like from about two feet away. And so I'm about two feet away from this mic now and this is what it sounds like. And you wouldn't be any further off of this mic um, but I think for the $40 of what you're getting, I think it's a nice mic and I think it sounds well when you're within that proximity effect of four to six inches. And that's right about here where I'm talking and I could pro talk pretty lightly and this is what it sounds like. Um, so for the price points of the USB mics that we're seeing out there that have the RGB lighting, this is a fairly on the cheap side and Fiduci or Fiduci, whatever you want to call them, is a new company and they do have a couple different mics that are out right now that are getting pretty good feedback from people as far as what they think in the quality and the sounds of the mic. So this is something that I wanted to get my hands on. So if anybody wants to grab this mic, they have an idea of the quality, the build, um, which, you know, this is on a cheaper side of things, but what I did notice is that this, the base of the mic, you can hear it, it is aluminum. It's very thin aluminum, but it's not plastic. It's aluminum and the knobs are plastic, but you know, it's what this price point brings. And as far as usability and how it sounds and easy hookup, I think it works well because this will work well with PS4, PS5 setups, uh, your gaming, your live streaming, some you know casual podcasting because I do feel that it being a condenser mic, you're gonna have some background sounds coming in that you wouldn't have with some higher end mics or possibly you know if you want the dynamic mic route. So I wanna thank you for just stopping in and listen to what this mic sounds like and what this price point can get you at this point. So uh, let me know what you think.